Hey guys, this is at Mario Freak 1989, and welcome back to Let's Play Legends of Heroes of Terror of a Million Part um, 50 something. Anyways, last time, fuck. Now that, what shall we do? Don't we have, we do we have no choice but to wait for the rough waves to settle down? It's too early to give up. Let's head back to Thomas' place for now. Maybe we can think of some plan. Before we do that, I'm gonna try again to see if I can upgrade the items of the people I'm with now. And surprisingly, I noticed in the last part I saw something stronger than the rare sword. I mean, yeah, the rare sword is partially the strongest thing, at the same time it isn't. So we're gonna try and get that sword and try to power up the Wayne because the next areas, the monsters get only tougher, not easier. Well, of course, it's, it's, I'm getting uh, to the nitty gritty of the game. Actually, before we do that, I need to go to the store so I can buy me some more of that um, stuff that brings your health back your magic back up, so let's talk to him first. So let's buy... Let's get like... nine of these, because I'm gonna need them. Alright, good. So let's see if I can find that shop. Where is it? Oh, here it is, the weapon shop. So we're gonna try and see if we can upgrade them now, because I did a lot of battles in that cave. So... Alright, let's see if we can buy it now. So, like I said, there's something powerful than the rare sword for now, until we get the final power of Bardis. But for now, we're gonna get this, and we're gonna get this for Gawain. And this... Oh, fuck. Damn it, I really want to get this for Rudis, because Rudis sucks in this. Alright, fine. Okay, so I have to fight more monsters. Alright, so... Now what we can do is power up Avon. For now, something is powerful than the rare sword for now. So, let's see, can I upgrade? Okay, let's do this. I don't want to bring down his attack. Alright, so let's go to Gawain. The Morning Star, let's give him that. And bring that up. No, I want to bring up his attack. Why not? On second thought, we're good. So I want to go back to the ship and um. Well, things are gonna happen. Another cook doesn't activate that's gonna allow us to get to the next island. Which the next island is really, really, really depressing. But anyways, let's get back to Thomas. Let's see, we're getting close to the end of this game. Actually, and as of this video right here, I just finished my real P of a Superstar Saga, and my god, it was... It was interesting. It's good to know you're safe. I was worried that you were buried alive because of the earthquake. It was close, but, but I'm okay. Was there any problem with the planetos? A little rumble on land is nothing compared to the shrinking during a storm. It seems like there's some problems in the town. There there have been a few earthquakes lately, but there hasn't been one this large. I wonder what's going on. Oh, by the way, did you find the crimson fire? Excuse me. Rudis explained to Thomas that the giant crimson fire is lost. I'm sorry, it's all my fault. It's not your fault, young lady. D there is nothing you can do against a cata catastrophic. I'm probably saying it wrong. But we have to come up with another way. About that, I thought of an interesting idea. An interesting idea. Can you hear? Can we hear your idea? Can I borrow your ear? M M Michael, or whatever his name is, whispered to Gawain and Thomas. And that's it. Hmm, I see. Th a, a surprising idea. It may be difficult, but it may, may be worth the try. What are they thinking about, thinking of doing? Just wait until we get on the ship. It's time to set sail on the planetos. And we're back on the ship again. Oh, here's the part where they um do something here. I'm not gonna say what. Let's begin. They even take out the crimson fire you got from 
the lady and put it on the floor. What? But this one won't explode. But the, just do as Michael says. Oh, okay. So he puts it on the floor. And here we go. Here we go. Michael begin chanting. Sage go and Rudis cast your spell power into the crimson fire. Alright. Yes. What the? So you, they use it. So just to clarify, they're using the magic to make it grow a little bigger, which is interesting. <clears throat> the crimson fire became bigger. It seems crimson fire is a material that grows by taking the spirit of nature. I thought it would. I thought it would also grow if it absorbed a lot of spell power. How did you know all this? Michael, you, you keep surprising us. You deserve the name of, you deserve the name of, of you deserve the name of Sage more than I do. No, I just have a curious mind. Oh man, we're in the area. Let's do it as we planned. Thomas, are you ready? Yeah, leave it to me. Hold on. Sorry about that. Are you sure you are you sure you're going? When I am when I was drifting, I I felt the line of shh. Okay. I am the right guy to throw the crimson fire. Thank you, Michael. I'm just gonna call him Michael, alright guys. Thomas, you be careful. Leave it to me, I can paddle as well as you I can paddle as well as you do. Michael, are you ready? I can go I can go anytime. Alright, let's go. Alright, so we're gonna watch this cutscene, watch them go out to the waves and lost to Crimson Fire. Huh? This is harder than I thought. Michael, don't fall, okay? Yes. <clears throat> Hang on for a while, I'll drop the Crimson Fire into the center of the disturbed line of... Okay, be careful, it's not a bit... I have to bite your tongue. No, the waves are so strong, I can't hang on my orbs. Okay? <laughs> oh, did the... That was weird. Now, you know, he throws it. Did you do it? Not yet. I used my spell to ignite the crimson fire. Hang in there for a while. That's a tough request. Anyway, I'll s stick with you. Oh, damn it, it's too fast! Doesn't make any sense. A crimson, any type of dynamite cannot take out a wave. Did they do it? Look, the waves are sustaining. Right, it worked. We, I, I think we've done just fine. You have some courage, don't you? How could you chant when the boat was rolling like hell? I trust you, Thomas. That's why I could, I could concentrate on my spell. Haha, ha, you won't get anything by flattering me. But now we can finally get to Canapia. The planet has overcome the great obstacle of nature. It turns towards the it turns toward can, the Canapia Island and begin moving through the water at full speed. Well, now that the thing is gone, we're going straight to Canapia, the last area with the last spirit is here where we are. We're here. Farewell, even good luck. You shall have no you should have no problem holding the last sacred treasure in your hands. Thank you, Thomas. Thomas, aren't you coming on land? The planet host is in need of repairs because I've been driving a her hard lately. Wow that sounded bad. Driving her hard. Good choice of words. I want to repair it while I can. <clears throat> Thanks for your help all the for the help all the for your help all the time. How about all this time? I think by the time Planetos repairs, we will, we will complete and we will be done. We will be complete. We'll be done with that need. We need to. What? I'll come and pick you up about that time. Please be careful. Now, where, where was our shrine? 
There is a common graveyard to the south of this village. Um, that's where the shrine of the spirit of raging fire is. I see. Well, let's go get going. Wait, even all we all need the guardian in order to get into the shrine. We need to find the person first. Oh, I, I forgot about that little problem. Hold on a second. Who is the guardian? The guardians are the descendants of the people who made a pact with make a pact with the four great spirits long ago. They protect the shrines. The entrance to the shrines can't be opened without their help. I see. Perhaps as a guardian in this village. No, the guardian is not here. But wait, you know who the guardian? Kind of leave the guardian up to me. Well, if we were going to the graveyard, we should go see the elder of Canapia. Let's head over there to Elder's house. <coughs> Where's the music? Did the game die past this point? Anyways, um, what's the elder? Let's look for an old guy who looks the same in this game, like any other elder. Shouldn't be hard to find. Uh, where is the elder? Oh, here. I don't no, that's the store. This place isn't that big, you know. Yeah. Where's the elder? Oh, it's supposed to be the old guy in every place of this game. Well, it looks the same. Oh, here we are. Oh, Gawain. Oh, Sir Gawain, welcome. It's been a while, Elder... W w winner what the fuck? You usually come along... Come alone, have you... Have... You have a lot of guests this year. Yeah, I have things to do... Uh, do... Other than visit the grave. Well, don't just stand there. Come on in. Make yourselves at home. I see the Octum's Apostle started their activity. I hope that the tragedy like what happened 15 years ago doesn't happen again. Tragedy 15 years ago? I guess ab I guess it's about time I tell you what happened. It's a tragedy that happened on this island involving Durga's daughter. A Durga's daughter was that girl named Dominique? When um, why don't you go to the go to the two shop for a while? Uh, I'd like you to go and buy some flowers to bring to the grave for going. Yes, Grandfather. Thank you, Winner? Winner? Not at all. I'll be back in a bit. So much reading. Such a sad expression. Is something the matter? She probably cannot figure it, figure, forget about it at all, even though it's been 15 years. She's Winner's very close. Winner is very close to Dominique and Mandrum. Dominique and Mandrum. Dominique and Mandrum were both born in Canapia and grow up together. They both joined the Barter's Church when they were sixteen. They went to go. They they went to go go train at a cathedral. Mandrum was assigned to train under at train under me as a paladin. Dominique was assigned to train under Alicia as a sister. That was about twenty years ago. 20 years ago, that was before I was born. Mandrum absorbed my teachings and became effective, an effective warrior among the Barter Church. Dominique also spent her days with Alicia as a, a dedicated sister. Everyone, though, though everyone, though that the peaceful days at Cathedral will, will last forever. Everyone thought that the peaceful days at Cathedral will last forever, but about 15 years ago, Mandrum and Dominique were just 20. Turned 20. Dominique heard Durga's voice. Just like a male, she was awakened as the priestess of the spirit gods. Yes, <clears throat> that was when Octum's Apostles were becoming a a active due to the traitor Belias. Asparagus? Asparagus. <laughs> Still funny. I hope I'm saying it right. And I were concerned about Dominique, so we recommend her to hide in the hometown of Canapria. And we we assigned it Mandrum to be Dominic's escort. We were happy that the two were coming back on vacation since they hardly ever came to visit. It's so sad that tragic event had to occur. I cursed Bardish just th that one time. 
Belias and Octum and Possum knew that Dominique had returned to Canapia. The enemy elite team assassin Canapia and Mandarin ran, ar ran around the island with Dominique. They tried to buy some time believing that the church will come to their aid. This was their home after all. But the aid didn't come fast enough. Why, you were the one that was leading the paladins? Canapia's request for aid was el elimin uh, eliminated by the abode of Brzat. What? That, that man was interested in brides and thought the meditation of cathedral to be a nuisance. The a boot's name was Avarice? Aver Avarice. Oh, that's why when I arrived in Canapia with the uh, paladin, Madrim was on the ground curling his, the body of the body of Dominique. Dominique sacrificed himself to save Madrim from Lockdown to Possum. How sad. And Madrim entrusted Dominique's body. <laughs> And trust Dominic's body to me and disappeared. That was that was what happened 50 years ago. So that's what happened. Such a sad story. Wow. Thanks for waiting. Oh, you're back, Sir Gawain. I bought the white li lily that Sister Dominic loved so much. This year was full of bloom as usual. And we got the white boutique. Ah, oh, thank you very much. Shall we head to the graveyard? The shrine of Zara is under the graveyard. Okay, I understand. Damn, that sucks. So basically, they Dominic sacrificed herself. Jeez. Ugh, wow. I think the apostles are dicks. Separation path. Oh, God. You know, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Going through this. Actually, we have a new monster, don't we? No, we don't. <clears throat> but we have an annoying monster. Alright, so. About this, I remember in this emulator. It like. Oh, this emulator likes to, um. What's the word? Actually, what am I doing? I just noticed something. No, no. Actually, give him food. Why not? Give the cat food. Um, I forgot the power up, but that Michael got some more, didn't I? Oh, he had the Morning Star. How weird! No, it's not doing that. I can't power him up anymore. All right. So it really sucks that she killed herself, and Mandrum became a psychopath killer. And that's a new monster? No, it's not. Give me back. Alright, we're done. Um, so yeah, this really sucks. Um, so yeah, Manager became the psycho killer, crazy dude. I mean, I don't know, he doesn't. I guess he's not that crazy because he did help Avon out from time to time, so I'll be right back. I forgot to mention this music here plays for the rest of this section because I guess it represents the sadness and stuff. If you were to leave, hold on. The rain is getting stronger. It looks like it looks as if the skies are crying. You are a poet, Michael. By the way, this road is so dark and deserted. This is called the path of separation. This is the path people travel intently, trying to overcome the sadness that's having of having to leave their loved ones behind. It's... I like in the in this section their faces is foggy because of the rain. Um, it's the path that connects this world to the next world. Right. I came here every year to pay a visit to Dominic's grave. Come to think of it, every time I traveled this path it was raining. Hmm. So in this emulator, if you were to leave a spot Hold on. Alright, as I was saying. If you were like to, um. 
leave this area and come back in in the simulator, the whole area turns blue. <laughs> I'm not joking, it's happened to me quite a few times. Anyway, let's be right back. Now I'm gonna end this part off here. Nope, nope. Until next time, this is at Mario Freak 1989, and see you in the next part.